Hello everybody, welcome. Um, it's another day. <laughs> another day in the pottery. Well, actually it's Saturday afternoon. I'm down here and I'm just... I've got a few things to do so I thought I'd just bring you in on what I'm up to. I've got a couple of pots here that I want to... Um, that I want to glaze. I just thought I'd do that in front of you because in actual fact it's not straightforward because I don't have really very much glaze and yet I want to glaze a pot which, which is obviously far bigger than the bucket of glaze that I've got so um, I thought I'd just do it in front of you. So I'm going to just incline the camera down there onto the onto the work onto the workbench there we are and just change the focus maybe let's just bring it in a touch now as you can see there I've got that's a pretty small as you can see pretty small bucket of glaze but apart from that it doesn't have a lot of glaze in the bucket anyway and and I want to glaze a couple of pots there that are considerably bigger so how am I going to go about glazing that without getting without getting myself in a right pickle and a mess it's very easy to get ourselves in a mess isn't it while we're glazing um, so before I do any glazing one of the things I make sure of is that I've got a bucket of warmish water handy and a sponge okay that's golden rule number one so just bring the sponge uh, and, the, and the water closer. So here's the glaze. Right, I'm just going to make sure that it's nicely stirred. Now the idea is with with this, in actual fact, because this is a lamp base, I haven't got to glaze it on the inside. I'm not going to bother. First thing, of course, is as usual, make sure that it's. Um, dusted. Now I have a particular problem with this pot um, and that is if you can see the bisque there and you, then you can see that there see what's happened? That there has got a lot hotter than the rest of the pot probably because it was too much in the pathway of the flame in the bisque firing. So in other words this area here is not so porous as this area here which is more pink in colour so that's going to present us a slight challenge because the glaze isn't going to stick there so well this one however is not like that maybe I'll do this one first as it's less complicated <laughs> it's going to give me any embarrassing moments hopefully. Um, so anyway what are we going to do well we're going to stir up the glaze of course now I'm going to pour off some of the glaze into this into this container like that I'm still leaving myself some though there in the bucket right so this is how I'm going to glaze it I'm going to take it and I'm just going to double dip the lower section there in the in the glazers down here. Okay, like that, okay. Now quickly put that on there. Oops. I've got some caked on the side there, that wasn't intended. And now I'm very quickly going to pour this down over like this. Well, in all honesty, that has not worked very well at all. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And if you look here, you can see what's happened. You see, it's, it's missed. 
So what do I learn from that? That the method is 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 madness? No. I'm not happy with that. In fact, I'm going to scrape all of that off again. Um, because I am unhappy with it. All right, so learning curve, folks, learning curve. However, I've still got the other one there. I'm going to continue and do some more with that one. You see, you have to learn how to do something, you know. It isn't, it doesn't, even for somebody like me, you know, I mean, or somebody who is more, more experienced, you know, we, we're all still learning, making mistakes and things. As you see, I've made a little mistake there. But, you know, some, sometimes mistakes are the stepping stones to great things. So don't consider a mistake as a, as a negative dead end. Sometimes you have to keep your mind a little bit open and think, oh yes, of course. And you, you get another, you get an inspiration or an idea from it. Um, this time, I'm going to go about doing this one, I think, slightly differently. Uh, are we still in the picture? Oh yes, we are, unfortunately. <laughs> Hang on, let me just move this a touch more like that. Okay, so. Yeah, okay. This time I'm gonna do it differently. I've got the glaze here. I'm gonna pour it over there like that. Okay, and now I'm gonna pour it there like that and there like that it's just doing this so you can see it this is quick drying pretty quick drying well at least it's quick drying so oh, I know what I should do if I lift that up I'll put that there and put that there and I'll spin it around we'll, ha we'll have a look at it see what, what we're at with that Okay, well that's that's glazed it better. I mean, it's glazed it all over, and I haven't managed to to glaze the 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 base. But there's an area here where the glaze uh, is is thinner. I can see, and that's where the bisque was harder. Now, one of the one of the things you can do is if you've got pots that are too hard, really you can heat them up on a on a stove now if I'd had here and what I could have done but I didn't think about it if I thought about it I what I would have done that area which was a little dark was a little harder I'd have played the blowtorch on it so I'd have heated it up a little bit okay and then I would have dipped it and it would have taken a bit more thickness just at that point I didn't do that so it hasn't done it Never mind. Um, there's a little bit here. You can't see it. I'll just show it to you. Um, just here in the neck, on the inside there, where the glaze has missed. You see? Because I was kind of working fast. But I think, you know, what I'm going to do with that now is, while it's here in front of us, I'm just going to... I'm going to put a, a a wash over it of copper carbonate. So why don't I just bring that down there and bring that there because that's my copper carbonate. You can see exactly what I'm doing. And there's some dried out copper carbonate from the last time I was doing this. Now what I actually need to do is get a nice a nice brew going here. This is just copper carbonate and water. All right, nothing else. 
by the way agave nectar is great stuff you know <laughs> and so it is but of course but the container is a great useful little idea isn't it yeah? you can use something like that in your pottery for doing slip trailing da, da, da. so what I'm doing is here I'm just bringing back this this copper carbonate which was a bit dried out to a nice soupy mix because what I want to do is using this broad brush I want to band over over on top of this pot a, a, a wash of so there's that now let's put the let's put the pot back on the on the on the banding wheel there so centralize it somewhat now I just gotta get myself sat down because I uh, want to be comfortable. I've got to load up the brush with as much as I can get on it and then I'm going to spin this around and then I'm going to apply